It was a long night that stretched into a very long day for the crews working on the machine. The massive piece of equipment that went from Vancouver Island to the mainland. And they were long hours as well for our Eric Thompson, who was along for the ride every inch of the way as the huge 650-ton shiploader made its way from Sydney to North Vancouver. It took 18 months to build this massive shiploader, an impressive engineering accomplishment to say the least. Delivering the mega machine to its new owner in North Vancouver will also be a marvel of engineering ingenuity. It will take a little more than 24 hours to haul the five-story structure from Ramsey Machine Works in Sydney along the runway at Victoria International Airport and onto a barge at Patricia Bay. From there, a tugboat will tow the 650 metric ton machine to the Kinder Morgan Bulk Marine Terminal. Ontario-based EMS Tech was contracted to design, supply and deliver the shiploader in partnership with Ramsey Group. Uh, it's a very impressive feat and the uh, crew was very professional, they were very diligent, they thought of everything and uh, patience was the name of the game, you couldn't rush it. Anything that uh, they encountered, any little soft spots in the runways, uh, any special bridging they had to put to get over water mains, you know, they, they handled it with professionalism and uh, with accuracy. The mechanical mammoth is designed to load mineral concentrates such as lead, zinc and copper onto ships like this one. But first, a team of well-trained professionals from several companies including Vancouver-based Sea Business and Supreme Structural Transport out of Maple Ridge will use their collective experience and sheer grit to make sure nothing goes wrong. I think it was uh, basically a can-do approach uh, between the municipalities and the Victoria Airport Authority and uh, North Saanich and Sydney. And if we didn't have their support, and, uh, we wouldn't have been able to do this project. Operationally for us, uh, you know, we have to close the runway and we have to monitor the radio to make sure that uh, there's no air, air, aircraft coming or going. But uh, the biggest challenge is to make sure that, uh, that the team uh, from Ramsey gets it through the airport in time to open it safely uh, so we get our passengers in and out. It's taken about 10 hours to get to this point. As you can see, the shiploader is just about on the barge. In fact, they're moving it onto the barge right now, but before it can set sail for North Vancouver, a lot of work has to be done. They have to secure the structure and it also has to undergo inspections. The shiploader and the equipment used to move it must be lashed down before making the 50 nautical mile journey across the strait. North Arm Transportation is in charge of that part of the move. A little more than 12 hours after hooking up to the barge, Chuck, Rob, Timber and Elmer deliver their precious cargo, tying up just off North Vancouver. The tug skipper says weather, tides and marine traffic all cooperated to make this journey an uneventful one, just as he had hoped it would be. On board the North Arm Prowler, Eric Thompson, A News.